Hello, my name is Lindsay Donhauser, and I'm the coordinator for WPC 101 Student Success in Business. I wanted to take a moment to give you a tour of your Blackboard shell for WPC 101. So you'll notice on the left hand side is the navigation for the course, and this is where you could find information like announcements, facilitator information like their email address, office hour locations, and the course syllabus. You also have a couple of areas where you can submit assignments the course assignments area and the faculty lecture series and that's where I want to start. So going into course assignments the first assignment that you have is going to be the academic integrity module. Now you may notice that my blackboard shell right now looks like it has more assignments to complete than perhaps yours does and that's because until you sign the honor code that different assignments throughout the course are not going to be available to you. This is because WP Carry values the honor code and the values that are expressed in that code very highly. And so we want to make sure that you sign the honor code and you understand it before you begin the course. So in order to complete the module, all you'll need to do is to click inside the binder. And then you'll notice that the module has three different components. There's navigation here, also on the left, and sometimes it gets hidden. So if it does, you can just open it up and then you can also do a, a smaller. So the first portion of the module is to watch a video, very easy, uh, upload YouTube, um, and you can just click play here or you can go to YouTube and watch it. The second module is going to be the honor code and the way to do that, uh, to sign this honor code is to click inside and then you'll want to begin. So I had previously taken the honor code so that I could show you the inside of the course assignments, but again, if you ever wanted to go in and read it again, you can do this. Um, this is the quiz, and really all it is is a copy of the honor code for you, and then it just asks you at the bottom to type in your name, your ID number, and then the date, and then at the bottom click Save and Submit, OK. So now that you have saved it, you can go back to the module and finish the last part, which is going to be the academic integrity quiz. Now, don't just stop at the honor code. The honor code allows you to view the additional assignments, but the academic integrity quiz is what has the 75 points. So you'll click to launch the quiz, and you want to make sure that you've watched the video. You only have 30 minutes to take it, um, and you can only take it one time. I'm going to go back to course assignments and show you that other assignments like the My Sun Double Story essay, very similar, gives you an assignment description and rubric and then the navigation is going to give you the location to take it. All you need to do is click view complete and you'll be able to upload your file. Faculty lecture series, this is sort of a, a recurring monthly um, event and within uh, WPC 101 this semester you'll be asked to attend three lectures. One uh, lecture at Kevin Burns, uh, another one before fall break, and then another one after fall break. And you want to make sure that you reserve a ticket, and you can do that very easily from the link here. It will take you to Eventbrite, and you can find the particular lecture that you'd like to attend. And then um, you can also look at the calendar if you want to see that view. And then when you're ready to submit, you can go in and type your reaction to Kevin Burns' lecture again um, and upload that uh, very easily. Now after you've submitted these assignments, you may wonder about your scores and how well you did. So you can go into the My Grades section of Blackboard, and this is going to be your area to really keep track of what's coming up, um, what you have submitted, and then what's actually been graded. So in this particular uh, student, uh, they have submitted the My Sun Devil story already, and they've gotten some feedback. They did pretty well on the assignment, 73 out of 75. And the student may have some questions as to what points they miss. And your instructor may write some feedback here, but you can also go in and view the rubric. And this is the most important. This, when you click in, is going to show you exactly what areas you might need to improve. So for this student, um, they did very well in most of the categories, though the writer could have used a little bit more detail. And that would have helped the facilitator understand exactly what they were talking about and you can scroll down and then there may be some feedback at the bottom and you can close it out. 
Um, some assignments don't necessarily have a rubric, like this iWeek Club comparison form. Uh, you'll get uh, that handed back in class, and so if you have any questions, you can always ask your facilitator. And this will show you all the assignments that are due for the entire semester, including the participation each week. And then at the bottom, you can see your running total of points uh, to, to figure out exactly what percentage you're at. A couple other areas in Blackboard that are interesting. Uh, one is the student resources, and this is going to give you uh, access to a lot of different links, both uh, through the WP Carey undergraduate student page and also through Arizona State University's uh, first year student resources. And so each of these areas uh, are, are links into a little bit more information. So if you're interested in tutoring or joining a club and organization or you're curious about financial aid and scholarships, you can also click the larger links to go to the full page. Um, there are hundreds of resources available to you on the ASU website. Sometimes you just need to search a little bit. You can always ask your facilitator and they can help you find it. I've got a couple of maps here in case you do want to venture to one of the other campuses, either for an event or um, you uh, want to see a faculty lecture on another campus. And then um, a little information here from ASU Success Centers. And finally, I want to let you know that there is a link to Blackboard Help. If you're ever having difficulties and you can't get a hold of your facilitator, maybe you're working late at night, check the Blackboard Help. It's very, very thorough and more than likely will be able to answer your question and so that you can get on with submitting your assignment, taking your quiz or whatever else you need to do in Blackboard. So I hope this tour was helpful for you. I wish you the best of luck and lots of success in the fall 2014 semester.